Some time after that, Prince Roland has amassed a workforce of villagers to both work on the wall and train as his defending army for the months of demons. Unbeknownst to him, he has attracted the attention of many factions, including the Witches' Cooperation Association. It is nighttime at Border Town, and Prince Roland is contemplating the lack of a nightlife in his town. As he closes the door to his chambers, he is greeted by strange sounds in the dark. He turns around in a shock to find a strange blonde woman on his bed. She congratulates him on driving away the top brass of Longsong Fortress, but all that occupies the prince's mind is the thought, ASSASSIN! As if reading his mind, the woman assures him that she is not there to kill him, and has only been watching him for the past week, seeing how he treated Anna and the young witch, Nana Pine. The prince tries to escape but is stopped by one of the woman's daggers, thrown with precision and speed into the wall in front of him, halting his retreat. She says she's only there to talk, and Roland asks for her name. She introduces herself as Nightingale, and proceeds to thank Roland for his kindness towards witches. Roland then remembers where he's seen the emblem on her coat. He recalls that the emblem is from the Witches Association, and asks if she's a witch herself. Dodging the question, Nightingale compliments him on being sharp, but Roland is only concerned about the true reason that she came to visit. He becomes defensive of Anna, and asks Nightingale why she's really there. She beckons for Prince Roland to come closer before continuing their discussion, reassuring him that she's not going to scare him. If you want to find out what happens to Prince Roland, Anna, Nightingale, and the rest of the witches, the full story is available at webnovel.com. So head on over there and read the rest of Release That Witch.